Cody Rhodes challenged The Rock to a match at WrestleMania when he was cutting his promo in Perth. Right now, it's looking like we have a massive feud between Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes against The Rock and Roman Reigns. However, there's a possibility that this is all a master plan from The Rock, and people are even speculating that he's going to betray Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, costing him the WWE Championship. There's two different hints that make people think this could be the case. It all comes from the segment on SmackDown with The Rock and Roman Reigns. While The Rock was cutting his promo on Cody Rhodes, he said that he's going to make sure he walks out a loser at WrestleMania. And the interesting thing about this part is that he directly points to Roman Reigns while he says that line. It could be a coincidence, but it could be a hint at the same time. This is Triple H and Rocky booking things, and as we know with Hunter, he loves to do these little things. I wouldn't be shocked if this was all intentionally done to drop a hint that he's going to betray Roman Reigns. In that same segment, The Bloodline put their ones in the air and the odd thing about the rock is that he put up an L with his hand this could have simply been a mistake but on the other hand this could have been the rock dropping another hint letting us know that Roman Reigns is going to take an L at Wrestlemania that would be insane storytelling if it turned out to be the case especially with these tiny little details so the question on everyone's mind is simply this is the rock going to turn and betray Roman Reigns honestly there's a good chance at that happening I could totally see WWE having the rock turn babyface after he helps cody rhodes win the wwe title it makes a lot of sense for the rock because he would probably want to raise cody's hand to a thunderous pop to close out wrestlemania and it also builds up a feud for WrestleMania 41. However, this is not a good idea in my opinion. And I hope WWE actually does not book this. The Rock revealing that this was his plan all along would take away from everything that's happened over the last couple of months. Heel Rock has been so entertaining and he has a lot of momentum. I think it would be a bad idea to put a stop to something so hot. I think it also would be a lot more effective if The Rock wins a tag team match on the first night with Roman Reigns only for Reigns to lose the championship on the second night when The Rock says, you know what, you got this Roman, we believe in you. That way, The Rock could slowly kick out Roman from the bloodline. I think it would be much better for Roman Reigns instead to turn babyface in his program with The Rock for WrestleMania 41. I also want to see Cody Rhodes win without any help. I think that's kind of whack, honestly. You know, let the guy finish his story by himself without anybody else. The Rock helping him kind of takes away from his moment. So to answer the question of the video, I think there's a very strong possibility of The Rock turning and betraying Roman Reigns, but I think it would be a really bad idea, and hopefully it does not happen. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Speaking of their feud, The Rock recently said this about Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes before their promo segment at the Elimination Chamber. He did not have some nice words for Rhodes and Rollins. Let's roll that footage. Here's the bullshit that's happening now down in Australia. Cody Rhodes and his little girlfriend, Seth Rollins, are gonna go on the Waller effect. Here's the thing, I need you and you and this goof holding the camera and this one holding the microphone over here, I need all of you guys to make sure that Perth knows some bullshit happening. And if those guys, those guys meaning Cody and his little girlfriend, Seth, if they start talking trash, let The Rock know. Tell The Rock, because here's what's gonna happen. The Rock is gonna slap the piss out of both of them just like that. As a matter of fact, if they talk trash, The Rock will fly down there to Perth before that interview is over and he'll do it. Don't wonder why The Rock can make it that quick. The Rock makes magic happen. Do you understand? All right, that's all The Rock has to say about Perth. Hit you some mail! What the Rock? Now Seth Rollins did respond to those comments made by The Rock and this is what the World Heavyweight Champion said in an interview right before the PLE on Saturday about The Rock. Yeah, I mean, look, he's rattled, man. He's rattled, he's shook. He came in here thinking he's gonna do whatever he wanted to do and so now he's trying to throw his weight around and he's got all the same insults that he's had for the last 20 years and it's kinda sad in some ways <laughs> but uh he wants to run his mouth dude he's gonna get whooped i mean i'm not he's a specimen but the dude's out of practice he hasn't wrestled in 10 years i mean i'm the world heavyweight champion for a reason he couldn't lace my boots in his best days let alone now so uh he can run his mouth all he wants when he wants to show up i dare him to put hands on me because he slapped me the way he slapped cody if nobody was there to hold me back oh baby i'd be clawing his eyes out of his head ray mysterio poof eat your heart out you know what i mean 
The feud is clearly heating up. I'm not sure what's even happening at WrestleMania. Is The Rock going to compete in a tag team match with Roman Reigns against Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes? Or is it going to be The Rock and Cody Rhodes going one-on-one -on -one in the first night? Maybe The Rock wins the World Heavyweight Championship in a match against Seth Rollins. I don't know what's going to happen, but I have a feeling it's going to be really good when it does. The Rock's even been advertised for the next three episodes of SmackDown, which is crazy. We haven't seen The Rock this consistent in years. He's more of a full-timer than Roman Reigns at this point. I cannot wait. SmackDown has become must-see television, and, and this Friday is going to be good. Moving on, we have some news on CM Punk. A couple days ago, he put out a sad Instagram story. It said, had a rough day mentally today. My heart and spirit are in Perth. Just a hard day staying positive and nobody wishes I was there performing for the fans more than me. Enjoy the show, appreciate you all. This is because he was scheduled to win the Elimination Chamber and go on to main event WrestleMania for the first time. It was also likely for him to win the World Heavyweight Championship as well. Many of us were expecting a generational run with that belt. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to do any of that because of his injury. And being sad is totally understandable. I'm hoping that he can work his way back to earn a spot at next year's WrestleMania. I think there's a lot of money to make on a CM Punk and Drew McIntyre feud for the World Heavyweight Championship in next year year's WrestleMania main event. I would honestly move away from the Rollins and Punk thing for the time being. That could happen at a SummerSlam down the line. Anyways, CM Punk isn't just sitting around and doing nothing. He's stirring the pot and trying to get himself to become a DLC player for WWE 2K24 since he's not in the game. This is what he posted on his Instagram story sending a message to WWE Games. Good morning. I'm going to talk about video games here for a second. Now, I know that 2K has released a full roster of the new WWE video game. Cody's on the cover, by the way. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not in the game. Now, I understand being a little late to the party, returning to the WWE, not being able to be put in the game, but they recently released the DLC teaser. And there's no sign of CM Punk. I know this because the fans are going crazy. They're asking where I'm at. They're asking how come I'm not in the video game. So I've decided to make it my thing today to try to get to the bottom of this because the fans are asking, demanding that I be put in this video game. Now, I'm not a technology guy. I'm barely a video game guy. So I don't know how fast they can do this. Uh, but like I said, we're going to try to get to the bottom of it, and I'm going to tag him here just to put the pressure on. Let's hold some feet to fires today, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good Monday. I got a feeling that this is CM Punk just trolling and doing some marketing for the game. If I was 2K, I would probably be working on getting him in the game as DLC the second I see him return for Survivor Series. I also don't see him trying to start real drama at this point, especially since his last stint in AEW. He'll most likely be a DLC in a few months. If not, then 2K, you gotta start working on that right now because CM Punk is calling you out. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.